How to make a sniffer farm for Minecraft Bedrock 1.20. Welcome to 1.20 everyone. The sniffer is now out and there is already an awesome design that I'm going to show you how to build. This is the easiest sniffer farm that will give you infinite torch flower seeds. This farm works by moving a minecart underneath grass blocks. The materials you will need for this build are 135 rails, 9 powered rails, 9 redstone torches or levers, 1 hopper, and 2 chests. For the build's dimensions, you will need a 12 by 12 area. Now that we have everything out of the way, let's get started. If you guys didn't already know, all my tutorials are posted on minormens.com. Here you can search for a tutorial, download the world I used in the video, and if my video ever becomes outdated, the post will be updated and modified monthly so that you can get the utmost current information possible. Consider checking out the site in the description below, minormens.com. Be a part of an everlasting mending community today. First things first, you will need to get yourself a sniffer egg. Sniffer eggs can only be found in warm ocean ruins, so search for a deep lukewarm and brush the suspicious sand to get a sniffer egg. If it helps, coral reefs only spawn in warm ocean water. Alright, so it's time to build the sniffer farm. So like I said, you're going to need an area of 12 by 12 and 2 blocks deep. So what we can do to get started is simply mine out a 12 by 12 area that are 2 blocks deep. So what we'll do is go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Then we can do the same thing that way. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So now that we have that 12 by 12 area, we'll just mine that all the way out. All right, so that's the 12 by 12 area frame. We'll just want to take out the middle as well. Alright, so that's how everything should look once it's done. You have your 12 by 12 frame, and then you mine the middle all the way out to make this whole place for your sniffer farm. We can now extend this down just by one more block to make this a 12 by 12, two block deep. So I'll do that now. All right, once your farm is 12 by 12 and two blocks deep, what you want to do now is come out to the side, assuming you'll be in here since you're in survival, and you can just break one of these blocks so you can climb up and down so you're not trapped in here. All right, so the next thing we're going to want to work on is our minecart system. This is what's going to cause our minecart hopper to go down and around in this little roundabout fashion. So what we'll do is we'll pick any corner we want. So for this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and pick this corner. Once you're in that corner, you're going to go ahead and place a rail just like this. Doesn't matter if your rail's like this or that, as long as you just put it in there and it looks just like that, okay? As simple as it sounds. Once your rail is there, you're going to go ahead and take a powered rail to the left of it and put it like this. You can then break that block and place a redstone torch like so, as long as it is getting power. And then we're going to extend this rail system all the way down to the left, just like this. And then right before this last one right here, these last two, you can put another powered rail here. You can break this block and then put another redstone torch here. And then for the last block here, you'll put another rail. So on the right side, you have a rail going into a powered rail. Rails connecting more to the next powered rail and then another rail. So this is how it should look so far. Okay, we'll then curve this back around like so. Coming all the way over here, just like this. So hopefully that makes sense. It's coming all the way around just like this. And then we're going to loop it back around once again. And then right here, you'll do another rail. So this time, since I am not in a normal world, I don't have the ability to put another torch below. But in your survival world, you would just break another one and put a torch below. But since I can't do that because I'm in super flat, I'm going to put a redstone block here and then a power rail on top. So I'll just do this like so so it's gonna be a little bit different for your survival world we'll then loop this all the way back around like this and then we can do the same thing but instead of doing another powered rail here we can leave this one empty and then we can go like this and then on this part you'll want to put another powered rail so just so you can see and get an idea this is how it should look you have a powered rail and then a normal line of rails, a powered rail, normal line of rails, normal line of rails, normal line of rails, 
and then on this side it's going to go into a powered rail right here and don't worry i'll give you an aerial view afterwards so you can kind of see and then map it out yourself okay and then we'll keep extending this down like so and then almost there and right here you'll want to leave this blank but when it comes back around you can turn that into a powered rail just like so so there should be a three block gap difference right here and then a three block gap difference right here for that powered rail okay you can then connect this all the way across like so to this side and on this side you'll also want to do another powered rail just like we did over there and then it's pretty much just copying the other side so since we have a powered rail right here we don't have to copy that side so then what we'll do is we'll connect this all the way across and right here actually you'll also want to put another powered rail right here so we could put a redstone torch with a powered rail all right so this is how everything looks so far we have one two three four five six seven powered rails this is at minimum what you need for this farm to work However, you could put a couple extra powered rails in case your minecart with a hopper isn't going all the way around. So we can go ahead and test this system real quick just to show you that it does indeed work. It will go over there. That powered rail will power it all the way over there. And then it will go very slowly right here. And it will always go in a complete infinite loop. So this is why I do recommend you adding a little bit more powered rails. Otherwise, you're going to see, look how slow it does go. So if you want to speed it up a little bit, you could put a couple more powered rails. But at minimum, you only need seven of these for it to get all the way around, which I find to be incredibly cool. So if you did want to speed this up because it bothered you for some reason and you did want to use all nine, what you could do is you could change this one right here to another powered rail. And then you could also change this one right here to another powered rail and this will ultimately speed your farm up so that when you push this minecart all the way around it's not turning these corners all slowly this is absolutely not required you only need seven for it to make the entire loop but like i said if you want all nine you can have all nine and just like this you can see that it's completely making this loop with a much faster speed than it was before all right, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and stop this for now. doesn't really matter where it goes. I'm just going to put it right there while we build the rest of this farm. So the next part we want to work on is the output. So when the sniffers actually sniff, they get outputted into the chest. So what we'll do is we'll break this block that we placed earlier just so we could get up and down. And we'll keep it like this. And then we'll break one of these rails. And by the way, mind you, you can do this anywhere you want on the farm. So just basically pick a side where you want the output. I'm just going to do it right here because it's convenient for this tutorial. Okay, so you're going to break one of these rails. You'll replace it with a hopper going into the block that you want to collect it from. So like the direction you want to collect it from will be this way. So we'll have that hopper going this way. So I'll do that. And then you'll break this block. And then we could just put a chest right here. So this way, when we put a rail back over this hopper, your minecart here is going to go all the way around in a circle, collecting all the seeds that the sniffer collects or sniffs. I don't know what to call it. The sniffer will basically, the, the seeds will end up in this minecart and then they will go back into this hopper. I'm not the best with the wording, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. You can decorate this if you want, but for now, we could literally just do this so we can get up and down and then at the end we can decorate it next thing you want to actually do is barricade this whole thing otherwise your sniffers are going to just go for a joyride and then you're going to come back to your world and be like where did they go so that that's not going to be good so i recommend just putting some fences all the way around you could also like raise the blocks like this you could put triple slabs it you could do whatever you want as long as you just barricade it so the sniffers can't get out up to you you have your free choice your free will for say i don't know so there we go so this is how we are going to get up and down. And then what we could do is we could just place a block like this, okay? So now nobody can get in and out of this build. This part of your build is completely done. So what we want to do is push this minecart. And now since you're in survival, you would just kind of come right here. And you're going to fill this in with the block of your choice. And the block of your choice can either be a grass block. It can be a dirt block. And you can also do a mud block, okay? Mud block also works. So mud block, dirt block, or grass block. But I'm going to use a grass block, or actually I'll do a dirt block for this tutorial. We'll spice it up. So you'll fill this whole thing with dirt blocks, and I'll do that now.
All right, so now we'll just fill this last bit and you can also just tap the rails here and that will also fill it as well So here we go. This will probably just convert the grass So <laughs> it really didn't matter in the long run The next thing you want to do is place your sniffer eggs all the way around So I would recommend not having more than five sniffers in here and for that reason if you have more than five sniffers they're not going to be able to basically walk the distance of blocks to be able to sniff at their maximum rates. So if you didn't know, the sniffer will sniff one block, and then it'll sniff two blocks, three, all the way to 20, and that's the amount it will remember. So if you put a whole bunch, they'll be trapped in their own little areas, and they'll never be hitting that 20 block radius, basically. So by, by putting only five at a maximum here, you're making sure that you're getting the maximum rates. Now, before you just place that egg and be like, uh, what else? You're going to want to get a moss block. This isn't required, but it is completely recommended. So we'll put a moss block right here and then put the sniffer egg on top of it. The reason we're putting a moss block is because this will make the sniffer egg grow even faster. As you can see, we also saw particles coming out of it. So if you just place it, there will be no particles. But if we put a moss block like this and place it, there will be particles basically showing that it's growing faster kind of like when you bone meal something and don't even try you cannot bone meal these so we'll just place a bunch of these like so we'll place up to five just so we're not having too many in here and then we'll put one more right here and just so they're kind of scattered out we don't want them to be too close to each other just so that they actually spawn i wouldn't want them to just do nothing okay so this is how that would look like all right, and ta-da! Now that the eggs have hatched, you're gonna get a bunch of awesome, cute sniffers. Now, if you want to breed these so you only have to have two eggs, all you have to do is get torch flower seeds, which they'll sniff for, and they'll go out in that chest. You can just tap them like this, and then like so. And then the sniffers will do their Disney magic, and I don't really know how it works, but another one appears out of nowhere, okay? And then that's how you would breed them. So this farm is now complete when you drop blocks down here and when the sniffers start sniffing plants These will get collected by the minecart hopper as you can see one just got collected And then they'll end up in this chest right here Give it about a full minecraft day if a full minecraft day cycles these guys will start sniffing And once they start sniffing you'll start getting a whole bunch of torch flower seeds in your chest all right, if you guys have any questions, be sure to comment down below. You can also expand this farm upwards. You can expand it out as far as you want, as long as your ticking area can register it. So feel free to expand this farm to your imagination can't handle it anymore. I don't know. Just feel free to expand it. But that is all the information I have for you today. 1.20 has been an awesome update so far. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Join the Discord server if you want to be a part of an everlasting Mena community. And as always, sniff around. Bye bye Stop sniffing me. What do you want from me? Stop sniffing me. Let's go. Yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine.